Under immense international pressure, Pakistan Anti-Terrorism Court indicted four close aides of Hafiz Said on terror financing charges this week. The move seems nothing but just an exercise to hoodwink the international community in order to avoid the wrath of FATF and escape the economic sanctions from various foreign financing institutions and countries allied with Pakistan. Our report. Pakistan for decades has been sponsoring and aiding terror organizations on its soil, which are responsible for a large number of terrorist attacks in the entire world, especially India. However, with a huge pressure from the international community building up, Pakistan has been compelled to take actions against these terrorists. In the recent development, an anti-terrorism court in Pakistan indicted four top leaders of the Band Jamatu Dawa and close aides of the 2008 Mumbai terror attack mastermind Hafiz Said in a terror financing case. All four accused, however, pleaded not guilty and chose to contest the trial. The move comes after global pressure on the country to bring terror leaders residing in the country to justice. Much as I would like to believe that this is genuine action, you have to look at everything in the overall context of things. And knowing what is happening otherwise in Pakistan on the terrorist activities, I would tend to believe that this is just an eyewash. There is, Pakistan got a lot of pressure from the international community now that they must take action, right? So, over a period of time now, they keep doing this every now and then. Some action is taken. Okay. So, it is because of the international pressure. The Counter-Terrorism Department of Pakistan had registered 23 FIRs against 70-year-old Saeed and his accomplices on the charges of terror financing. Under pressure from the international community, the Pakistani authorities also launched investigations into matters of the lashkar e taiba jamaat dawa and its charity wing, Falahi Insaniyat Foundation, for their holding and use of trusts to raise funds for terrorism financing. At least 56 seminaries and facilities being run by the JUD and FIF in southern Sindh province were also taken over by authorities in the same case. Consequently, Hafiz Said, the co-founder and chief of these terrorist groups, was arrested in connection with charges relating to terror financing and has been detained at Court Lakhpat Jail. Later, he was sentenced to 11 years in jail in terror financing cases just a few days ahead of FATF meeting in February, which retained Pakistan in its grey list. The controversial point, however, is whether these actions against Saeed and his accomplices are indicative of a new direction in Pakistan's counter-terrorism policy or merely a tactical ploy as before to escape economic sanctions and avoid the wrath of international community. It is not in the interest of the Pakistani military establishment to have peace on the borders and find a solution to our problems. Why? Because they will then lose their importance. Mm -hmm. Now that being the case, they have these terror outfits and they use the terror outfits to create the problems on the borders, terror financing, terrorists coming in, everything of the kind, because it suits the uh, Pakistani uh, establishment. In spite of these so-called measures by Pakistan's counter-terrorism department, there seems to be absolutely no curb being put on terror financing and terror activities taking place in the country. Global terror financing watchdog has warned Pakistan to do more to rein in terrorist groups operating from its soil or face the consequences. If Pakistan fails to comply, with FATF this time, it will face a much more aggressive and friendless international community where it is possible that even allies like China 
no longer help to bail out Pakistan in future.